One of the techniques that I've tried to use is go find the people that have the experience in building nuclear uh, power plants. So the last construction of a nuclear power plant was Watts Bar 1. It was finished up in 96. It was the last uh, plant that was finished last century. And Watts Bar 2 will be the first plant for this century. So one of the first goals was to go find people in the industry that had the experience, that had the uh, qualifications, understood the way the pieces fit together from designing it and constructing it and testing it and get those on the team here at Watts Bar. And so you've talked to some of those people as part of your interviews. The second thing is when we've, uh, as we've learned our lessons from operating Watts Bar 1, so there's lessons learned about some of the safety aspects of Watts Bar 1. There's been some learnings from an operational perspective. So we've incorporated those learnings from Watts Bar 1, other nuclear power plants in the industry, and we've integrated those into the process by which we're upgrading Watts Bar 2. So that's some challenge. The third point is, is some of the equipment that has been used in the past at Watts Bar 1 or, or nuclear power plants in the United States, that equipment is not available anymore. So our design has to accommodate that new equipment. It needs to accommodate those products such that what the operators see when they're operating Watts Bar 2, which is gonna be a mirror image of Watts Bar 1, that the function of the equipment is the same as what they expect to see on Watts Bar 1.